Welcome to another video of the Crypto Mentor channel. This is going to be the most useful and hopefully the first video on this revolutionary platform. In this video, we will discuss the Mojack, which is the full picture of Time Stop's last few years and the upcoming year's innovations in the blockchain technology. Mojack is a word derived from Mosak. To understand the Mojack, let's give you an overview of Mosak. Mosaic is a work of art. It is an abstraction technique composed of various colors or colored objects by pasting several pieces on a single canvas. As you can see in this animation, many pictures are pasted to make a new work of art. In the same way, you can see here that many colored objects are placed together to form a mosaic. Time Stop translated it as Mojack in the sense of completing a single masterpiece by composing various blockchains in one integrated environment in the same way as Mosaic. A demonstrative picture issued by Time Stop is on your screen. You can see here various blockchains are proposed by Mojack. Out of these blockchains, the Asadal will be launched on October 10, 2022. Asadal is also known as FeeChain blockchain. So from now on, FeeChain, Mojack or Asadal will be considered the same. But you now know that Asadal is part of Mojack, like the many other blockchains to be launched later. Asadal will be launched on the 10th of October 2022. The next blockchain to be launched on Mojack is Babylon. Babylon is scheduled to be launched on October 10, 2023. There are many other blockchains to be launched on the Mojack platform, which include Athonia, Dylan, Carthago, Frank, Greek, and Holy Land. These names are not finalized, and for the launching dates of other blockchains, regular announcements will be made. Beside various other desires, there are two main goals of Mojack platform. First of all, Mojack plans to provide unlimited TPS so that delays in the blockchain transactions can be eliminated. Second goal is to provide the lowest transmission cost. Mojack's initial transaction fee will be 0.021 fee coin per transaction, which is extremely low. This transmission cost will further be decreased with the increment of number of transactions per seconds. Why do we need unlimited speed? Mojack platform believes that the blockchain industry will follow the revolution of internet industry. If we look at the revolution of the internet industry, we know that in the 1980s, when the internet was at its initial stage, the speed of the landline internet was only 12 bps or 0.0012 megabits per second. Nowadays, the average speed of the internet on fixed connections or landlines is more than 100 megabits per second, while the average mobile internet speed is more than 50 mbps. The speed has increased hundreds of thousands of times in the last three decades. The blockchain industry is growing in the same fashion. In 2009, when Bitcoin was launched, the majority of the world was unaware of this innovation called blockchain. Bitcoin was launched with a transmission speed of 7 to 8 TPS. In 2015, Vitalik Buterin introduced a revolution in the blockchain industry known as Ethereum. The speed of the Ethereum is 20 TPS. In 2022, version 2 of the Ethereum was launched, so now it has a tremendous speed of 16,000 TPS. Although, it is a great speed, but there are some limitations, and the platform is confronting merging issues. Therefore, Mojack aims to introduce a platform which is free from the restrictions of the speed limit. Now, the question arises that, how Mojack will achieve, unlimited speed? The answer is that, through the absolute value of fee, and, the relative value of time. 
Mojack has introduced a system in which multiple multi-chain can work perfectly. Timeland Layer 2, named as Oasis. We discussed in the previous video about the Layer 2 and its distributions. In this section, I will just explain the properties of the Oasis Layer. Layer 2 is a checkboard of 1000 by 1000 pieces, resulting in a total of 1 million pieces. Out of these 1 million items, 60,000 L2 items have properties of NFT DNS. 50,000 L2 items are avatars. 50,000 L2 items are pets. 4,096 L2 items are colors. Rest of the items has not yet been assigned any properties. We had discussed the general distribution plan in the previous videos. In this section, we highlight the distribution in the perspective of main net launch. 50% or 20 billion fee coins are allocated for ecosystem maintenance currency. These 20 billion coins will be used for swiping purposes and will be maintained in the same amount. As these 20 billion coins do not supply the liquidity to the market, therefore, this amount doesn't disturb the value of fee coin. 4 billion fee coins are kept for the founder, but wait, he is not going to use it for two years. Yes, these 4 billion fee coins will be loaned to the time stop team. These coins will be used to distribute airdrops for the rewards of team developers and team leaders transparently. 11 billion coins will be given to participants of the previous project known as Bloodland. However, these coins will not be given at once to those participants. Tokenizing limits will be applied and they will get their coins as per the rules set by the time stop. So these 11 billion coins are also not a threat to the value of fee coin. 5 billion coins are reserved for the ICO. These coins are kept by the time stop to provide liquidity to the project because listing any coin in the reputed exchanges is way more expensive than the development cost. I will make another detailed video on the ICO of the fee chain very soon. But for now, I will make you understand basic things. ICO stands for Initial Coin Offering. It is a process through which a buyer can get early access to the coins at very cheap rates. The ICO of the fee coins will start from November 1st, 2022 and will be continued till December 31st, 2022. As per the announcement and the Mojack white paper, in 1 USDT, you can get 769 fee coins. You can participate in the ICO with a minimum of 100 USDTs. Remember that the address and the tether used in this ICO is of Ethereum blockchain. Soft cap of the ICO is set at $500,000 which means that ICO will be considered as successful if this amount is collected and all the things will go as per the plan. Hard cap of the ICO is set at $4 million. If this amount is collected, it will be considered as highly successful and the ICO will end on the same day instead of December 31, 2022. If the soft cap is not achieved, all the transactions will be reversed to the senders and a new plan will be introduced. As we discussed earlier, there will be many blockchains on the Mojak platform. The first blockchain of Mojak, known as Asadal, is launched on the 10th of October 2022. The first block of any blockchain is called Genesis block. The genesis block of the Asadal is created and, to all the four shards, 10 billion fee coins are sent. Please remember that, launching of mainnet, doesn't mean that you can start trading. 
it is a technical procedure for development of a network where transmission of cryptocurrencies can be executed for trading of a coin it must be listed on crypto exchanges what will happen after the mainnet is launched first of all no person can join the time stop now but the people who have already joined and their kyc is not completed yet they can perform kyc all the pending and new kyc will be checked and passed if everything is okay verification double account check and other checks will end on june 28 2023 all the information about time stop miners collected during kyc will permanently be deleted after that conversion from database ledger to blockchain ledger will be executed it means that all the assets which you have in your time stop app are database assets these assets will be converted into the blockchain assets to understand tokenizing let's have an overview of all the conversions of the time stop platform we can convert a time l time or r time into s time directly in one to one ratio to convert s time into c time the token index is applied you can check your country's token index in your time stop profile if your token index is 1 s time will be converted into c time equally and if your token index is more than 1 it will be multiplied with s time so if your token index is greater than 1 your c time will be more than your s time all these conversions are part of the database ledger and take place only within time stop server it has nothing to do with blockchain the conversion of c time into time tokens is called tokenizing c time and time tokens are always equal in conversion after tokenizing time tokens and fee coins can be converted into each other 3% fee will be applied on this conversion to avoid unnecessary conversions this fee will go into the ecosystem maintenance currency tokenizing will start from january 1st 2023 to make it clear no one will be able to tokenize all of his tokens at once a discount rate will be applied to limit the one way flow of coins into the market on january 1st 2023 when tokenizing will be started let's assume n equals to 0 because till january there will be no exchange listed putting n equals to 0 in this formula discount rate becomes 73% now 73% discount rate means that you will be able to tokenize 27% of your coins Let's assume that on May 1st 2023 fee coin is listed on exchange in that case the value of n becomes 1 on June 1st putting n equals to 1 in this formula discount rate becomes 66% now 66% discount rate means that you will be able to tokenize 34% of your coins Time stop introduced for the first time a smarty deposit system in smarty deposits you can deposit cryptocurrencies like bitcoin usdts etc to earn time interests now the question may arise that for how long our crypto will be bound here the answer is that there are no time limits and you can withdraw your crypto at any time When you deposit a bitcoin or USDT in the smarty deposit exchange you get F bitcoin or F USDT in return as a receipt token you can directly transfer these F USDTs or F bitcoin to other people as well whoever has these receipt tokens can exchange them with the original crypto anytime now let's have a quick overview of mojax roadmap In the fourth quarter of 2022, Mojak launched its first blockchain, Asadal. From November 1st, ICO will be started. In the first quarter of 2023, tokenizing will start.
Open source code will be released on GitHub. User may start node operations. CityWalk NFT Fighter version will be released. In the second quarter of 2023, the goal is to get listed on top 50 exchanges of the coin market cap or in the top 5 exchanges of Korea. Launch of World Poker and all the data of KYC users will be permanently deleted from the Timestop database. In the third quarter of 2023, CityWalk Game version 2 will be released. Life Game will be released and the beta version of Sell Me Time will be released. In the fourth quarter of 2023, the second chain of the Mojack will be released. This will be the first time when Mojack's multi-chain testing will occur. That's all for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.